Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The Hurricane Watch Team is here with another tropical weather update for Thursday, June 5th, 2025, at around 1 o'clock Central Time. We do have a few systems we need to talk about in the Central and West Pacific, so let's get into it. Uh, here's the system that we are looking at in the East Pacific, they're right off the coast of Central America and Mexico. Um, around 40% chance is a chance for over the next 48 hours and a 80% chance over the next five days. Uh, there's actually two areas of low pressure to form over a larger area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Here's the first one and we're going to zoom out and take a look at the seven day. Here's the first one that we're watching that's going to remain right off the coast of Mexico. And then there's this one that's a little bit farther off the coast which has a 30% chance in the next seven days. That's the second uh, system. Uh, is again an elongated trough, which we are going to talk about. We're going to look at it and, and everything else. Um, if we take a look here in the East Pacific at tropical tidbits, we can actually see where those two areas are. One's right here and one's here. It's actually this area right in this region. So as we go into time, you can see where these two areas of low pressure develop. Here's this one close to the coast of Mexico and this other one farther away. They both form right around the same time. This one remains much closer and it uh, looks like a bit of a Fujiwara effect where it gets absorbed into the one that's farther off the coast. Um, it intensifies, it hits about 980, nine, about nine, between 985 and 990 millibars at its strongest. Um, there could very well be another system right behind it um, and any one of these could spin off a system there in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. Um, now at this point we're over 250 hours out, be way, way more than I, I like to only go about 170 hours for anything reasonable. Anything more than that just gives us a better idea of the kind of systems and the kind of direction that we could go going into. Which generally we have been looking at a direction of active systems that we're going to be more of an active pattern. Central Pacific, nothing, North Atlantic, nothing in the next seven days. We take a look at the West Pacific there. We do have Invest 92W there right off a couple, several hundred miles to the east of the Philippines, north of Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. Here, um, here are these systems, again, these two in this area. This is the elongated area of low pressure that we're looking at there in the East Pacific. Uh, if we go farther off to the west, way over here, here are those systems that we're looking at. We're going to look at high resolution um, on the satellite imagery. Yes. Very, very disorganized, not a lot of deep convection, and a lot of stronger thunderstorms in this area. Zoomed out picture here. Guam and Mariana Islands up here, island country of Yap down here, Philippines off to the west. Big area of thunderstorms, but not very dis not very organized at all. If we go and take a look at some forecast models, go through Hurricane H Wharf, uh, see if there's any systems that have. All right, one and only the GFS. Um, so as you can see, it does take a, quite a bit of time for it to um, organize and intensify. It really does not seem to be get, uh, become super duper strong. However, we do see the 970s. So do expect this between Category 1 and Category 2 upwards um, at maximum, maybe about 110, 115 miles per hour. Uh, really seems the strongest. It's very large and very broad, and the air pressure isn't super strong. So I really see between Category 1 and Category 2 at its strongest. There it goes, it makes landfall and moves back into the South China Sea uh, and pretty much just completely dissipates and completely falls apart. Uh, going back and looking at the West Pacific region, and we go all start at the beginning, you can see it's this area right here off the several hundred miles to the east of uh, the Philippines. It does begin to organize, it does take a while, get to intensify. 
and there it moves right through the islands of Japan, right off the coast of China, and then it just completely falls apart. So we're going to have to closely monitor this of any more uh, updates. Um, not looking like anything super crazy with the latest here at 1200 UTC. 1800 UTC update has not come out yet. Uh, again, they're at around 11 degrees north. Uh, maximum winds about 15 knots. 1,008 millibars. Super, super not very organized. It's going to take about the next, I would say, 48, about the next two to three days of it meandering off the coast of the Philippines before it really organizes into something um, where it may be become named. Well, again, we will continue to update y'all uh, of any updates with this system. Again, 15 miles per hour. Vit uh, there's a low chance of tropical cyclone development for Indus 92W over the next 48 hours. So look at the East Pacific, again, here are those thunderstorms that we are looking at and monitoring. No updates, really. It's pretty much the same. Uh, looking at the forecast models for the North Atlantic, I do want to take a quick look at the North Atlantic here. Again, that system off the coast of North Carolina, practically nothing. Maybe a system may be moving into a more active period in the North Atlantic in the next several weeks. Take a look at ocean analysis, taking a look at sea surface temperatures for the North the Atlantic. Again, relatively warm waters for the Gulf of Mexico and the Western Atlantic, including the Caribbean and the East Pacific. They're at more than 30, 30 to 31 degrees Celsius. Very, very warm sea surface temperatures, um, 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Sea surface temperature anomalies, taking a look at the East Pacific, not the East Pacific, the, mm, I guess the world, yeah, would be better. Much easier to sort of see everything that we're looking at here. Uh, you can kind of see La Nina trying to set up here. Um, warm sea surface temperatures on the East Pacific there. Warmer than average sea surface temperatures in the Western Atlantic and in the Gulf of Mexico. Take a better look at that. Western Atlantic, about uh, upwards of one, one and a half degrees above average in some areas. Roughly about more closer to half a degree for a majority of the area above average. Warmer than usual right now. Gulf of Mexico, there we go, about almost a degree above average for the Gulf of Mexico. Taking a look at the main development region is quite a bit below average, about between 0.4 and 0.3 degrees below average. However, it does look like it's making that tick back up to average um, as the sea surface temperatures are beginning to warm up. As you saw Nino 3.4 was warming up, but it does now look like it's beginning to take that trend back downward. Again, that is that Nino, uh, we do believe we could be going into La Nina. So we'll continue to give updates if that does in fact happen. Is the East Atlantic not even, or the East Pacific not on it? It's not. Okay. Taking a look here at the East Pacific, they're right off the coast of Mexico and Central America in this area. We do have sea surface temperatures warmer than average. So overall, we are looking at um, a favorable for beginning to see some storms there in the East Pacific. Go back to the Salina imagery. Uh, and that's kind of what we are looking at right here for the East Pacific. Uh, I do think we could see some more storms developing here in the East Pacific, uh, as well as some storms beginning to develop in the West Pacific. Um, if anything else does change, we'll continue to update y'all on this for sure. Uh, 
Uh, but that's really going to be it for today. I like to keep these uh, videos between 5 and 10 minutes. Quick update. What's going on? We got some storms developing in the West Pacific that we're watching. And we got two systems there in the East Pacific. Nothing expected for the North Atlantic within the next within the next 5 to 7 days if something changes. Well, again, we will update y'all. We will continue to update y'all. And when we do get a hurricane in the North Atlantic, we will closely monitor it. We will give y'all updates. And there will be live um streams about the storms and we'll give we'll have more data we'll have more cell imagery we'll have radar um and we may even possibly have some um, aircraft reconnaissance we'll be able to look at and see some of the data that they get but with all of that being said that is going to be it for today folks overall we are seeing some trend and more activity in the east pacific and in the western pacific We'll continue to update y'all. That's going to be it for today, guys. As always, stay safe out there and peace out.